Hi, I'm Paul Perdue and I am the Infrastructure Nerd. And I'm Mary Jo Boyd and I'm a Legal Technologist. Today's topic is users, how to manage them when they leave the firm, when their name changes, um, when things happen. What do we do with those users? The natural inclination is to delete them, but we don't want to do that. No, deleting users without doing some other steps first can create data file integrity check errors. It can create issues with your calendar entries. Um, there's all kinds of things that can happen. So. so can you show us how to do this properly? I can do that. So I'm going to show you the correct procedure on how to rename a user if they change their name or how to de safely delete a user from your list or how to reassign that user to another user. Um, a lot of times users uh, will leave the firm and somebody new takes their place and they need to have all of those calendar entries reassigned to them so that they can pick up those tasks and events and, and they can be responsible for them. Now there's some things in the past that you do want to maintain and maybe for a certain amount of time uh, and have those calendar entries and things still tied to that old user. And other times you just want to get rid of them. Your list is getting long and you just want them off of there. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple different procedures on how to do that. So we're going to go into system configuration. And I'm going to manage my user list. So it's just a little driver's license looking list here. And I'm going to choose me, first of all. So I've entered myself in here as Mary Jo Blum. That was my uh, pre-married name here. So now I am married, so I am going to change my name. I just want to change it to my new last name. So this can happen if you have users get uh, you know, married, divorced, whatever happens, and you want to update your system. So right now I'm in here as MJ Blum. I want this to be MJ Boyd. Well, I can change it easily here for my name that shows up on different things and just type in Mary Jo Boyd, but that doesn't change my user ID. This is the name I'm using to log in as. Now, some of you may just have MJB, which then I wouldn't have to change that, but some of you, if you're using last names, you do want to change this user ID information to be correct. So I'm going to go ahead and save this because I have changed my username here, but now I want to change my actual user ID login. So to do that, I'm going to go under Utilities, and I'm going to go to my Rename User ID. When I click on that, I'm going to want to make the backup if you were in your live system, and then I actually have to sign out of Practice Master because I was in that over there. So now it's going to ask me for the old user ID, which is MJ Blum, and I think MJ Blum, and then it wants to know my new user ID. So I'm going to type in MJ Boyd. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and again say OK. It's going to go out and it's going to change any entry that I had. I don't have any out there um, that, uh, that I needed to have any errors on there. There's no errors. So it's going to replace all of the occurrences that I had MJ Blum with MJ Boyd. And this tells me that it was 100% complete and that there were no errors and no warnings. It was able to go out and change all of them. Now, occasionally you might get something on here, a warning or something, and it will tell you the ones that it could not change. And you can get the detail report, and then you may have to manually go in, and you may have to do some changes. But for the most part, it should just come in and reassign and rename that. So now if I go under my users and I look at my user IDs, now it has changed it to MJ Boyd and now my username is changed here. So let's say that somebody actually leaves the firm, okay? They've left your office and you no longer want them to show up to, so that people can assign calendar entries to them and you don't want them to show up um, or be able to log in. This is a simple one. So I'm going to just take, um, I'll take RFW and I'll say that he is no longer a login user and he is inactive. By doing that, he falls off all of the lists um, and drop downs if I'm trying to assign a user. So he doesn't show up anywhere else, but he still is in my list here. So I'm going to save this. And if I do my drop down list, you can see that RFW still shows up on the list. But I can tell that he's inactive and he's no longer a login user um, if I click on him. Some people, after a while, you can get quite a few, you know names and initials or things out there that you want to kind of clean up. Um, the first thing, um, let's say the RFW is gone and now I want to reassign his user um, 
anything that his user is tied to, any calendar entries, anything like that. Let's say that I am taking his place. And so I want to have all of these things reassigned to me so that they're not falling through the cracks and I can monitor them. So that would be the first thing that I could do. So I could go under my utilities and I could reassign the user. This is also the first step that you have to do if you're going to delete a user. You have to remove any connection um, that you have to that user through any entry. So you have to reassign them. And a lot of times what I do is I'll create a new user called old or old user or something like that, that I can dump all of those entries in for someone that has left the firm. And if I don't care that they're reassigned to somebody, they're old and I just want them off my system and I wanna delete the user, I would just reassign them into old. If it's current information, current calendar entries and things, I would reassign them to a certain user so that somebody else is gonna pick up that slack. So there's two different things there that you can do. Um, let's say that this guy, he's gone. I just wanna get him out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new user User called old and I it's not even it doesn't have to be a login user it can be inactive I just want a user called old and I'm going to go ahead and save that now I'm going to go in and I'm going to reassign anything that had to do with RFW to MJ Boyd that's going to move any transactions that he has and it's going to put them onto mine and at that point, once everything is moved, then I can go in and I can delete RFW if I want to. And then I will not be creating any kind of um, data file integrity check errors or any of that kind of thing. That will be a safe way. He is now all entries are moved and I can delete him. And I would just come in and hit my delete key and I would just go in and remove him. Now, the other thing I want to talk about briefly is groups. We have different um, groups that you can set up for your calendar. Um, this one that we have created is called Staff. And what that will do is it will take different users that belong to that group and then you can just assign in mass calendar entries um, so that you don't have to go in and every time you, you prepare a um, staff meeting, I don't have to sit there and click every single user to assign them to that or hit all users and have the conference room and things like that dumped in there as well. If I create a group called staff, or maybe I want to create a group called trial attorneys, or um, you know, partners, or um, associates, or things like that, and I want to group these staff members into those particular areas and assign calendar entries to them in that group, you can do that. And so here we've created one called staff, and I've added Paul and I to that group. Um, and now if I go into my calendar, and I'm going to get back into um, Practice Master here, and if I go into the calendar and I want to assign something to this group, I can do that. So if I go into just a regular calendar entry, instead of clicking the, um, the client ID, or I'm sorry, the user IDs, I can just go in and I can create an, an entry assigned to the staff designation. And it's automatically going to create two separate entries, one for me and one for Paul, that would put this entry on our calendars. It will also show up under the staff calendar. So if I need to see everything that is on the trial attorneys, um, I can do that. I can go into my calendar and I can put in staff and I, or trial attorney or whoever it is, whatever group, and I can see their calendar and all the entries that are on there. Now something to be um, aware of, let's say that you want to add somebody to this group, okay? If you just go in and I go to system configuration and I modify my group and I add um, RFW, it's not going to add him to any existing entries that are out there assigned to the group or any you know, future uh, existing entries. So this is a common mistake people make. They add this to the group and they think, well, this person's on there, why isn't he showing up under my list? Any future or existing entries have to be manually changed. Anything in the future, anything I put in today forward will include RFW, but not anything that's already been entered. So there's some ways that we can um, sort our list and we can add RFW into there in mass so you don't have to go into each entry and do that. There's a, you know, we could do a find and replace or we could do some different things that we could add him into that group. Um, so you're not having to open every single entry to do that. But just be aware, he's not going to show up and anything that is already in the system, but anything in the future, he will. 
Same thing goes if I take somebody off of a group. If, I, if RFW is no longer at the firm, which we used as our example, and I want to remove him from the group, it will not take him out of any entries that are already in the system. So again, we can do a find and replace, we can find those entries, and we can take him off and, and remove that from the list. So just a couple things to be aware of um, as you're adding and renaming and reassigning and deleting users. Uh, hopefully that's helped. Thanks. So that's how to manage your users properly and safely. And that's just another way that we have of helping you to worry less. And practice more.